There is a ton of slack. There is a, a ton that can be done that just would make everybody better off uh, without really taking even a strong stance on what the final objective is for whatever final objective that governments really have. So what the randomized control trials do is they are one way of creating completely comparable groups which are subject to different treatments and therefore to know what difference a particular intervention really made. So what the randomized control trials tell you is that in the sample where you did the experiment, this was the impact of your policy. But of course with one randomized control trial in one place, you're left wondering whether the effect would be the same elsewhere. The only way to know that is um, to, s to some extent to try it out in different contexts. So over the last 15 years, we have learned a lot about how to do it and we are trying to share those learnings. This is something that uh, JPAL does with courses that are online, with residential courses, etc. So the first thing one might do is to kind of get familiar with some of the nuts and bolts of how to do it. You have to think about what makes sense to do, what is the frontier of knowledge, what is it that we don't know, what is it that we are going to learn from this trial before embarking in it, that would be the second piece of advice. And the third piece of advice would be to work with a trusted network of uh, evaluators, of which there are several now, who are able to help you through the logistics of running the experiments and doing it well. The fourth thing that I would uh, remind people of is that despite all of this help, it's never going to be the same thing as downloading some data from the internet. It's always going to be substantially more work and substantially more risky and substantially more thinking involved at every step of what you need to do. That's the bargain that you enter when you're trying to do this type of stuff. It's worth for policymakers thinking of randomized control trials as a way of incorporating a culture of learning in their own decision making. So policymakers need to move forward and do stuff so that it's not that they're going to randomize everything. But there is always a little bit of scope for um, experimenting at the margin when something is not known. For example, you might know that you want to do some particular intervention but not know exactly how it needs to be done. And that might be a good option to help them in reaching out their own objectives, uh, regardless of what might be a good program or a bad one. I think at the moment I am particularly interested in this interaction with policymaking and in particular in this culture of learning within government. How can we be most helpful in building structures within government that can help uh, developing country governments being more effective at what they want to do? Mm -hmm.